If you are a developer who is struggling to get a job in WebStrip, watch this because in this video, I'm going to give you the nine most common errors that developers do when they want to get into WebStrip. If you are new here, I'm Julian. I'm a senior Web3 developer. I've been in the space since many years and on the blogs, I help you to become a Web3 expert. So the first reason why you're not getting a job in 2023 is because this year there is less jobs than before. So we all know that right now this is crypto winters. However, this is just partially true. And I think this is actually a bad excuse for not finding a job. And that's because even though there are less jobs, yes, that's true, but there are also way less candidates because there are many aspiring web3 developer who now move to ai and so that means that you have way less competitors compared to before which means that in some cases it actually became easier to find a job in web3 in 2023 yes i know that's very counterintuitive but that's the reality and we also start to see some sign that the crypto winter might be over soon with the recent rally of the crypto market. So don't use this as an excuse. There are still jobs in Web3 in 2023 and there are less applicants. So the second reason why you're struggling to get a job in Web3 is because you are too demanding. So maybe that you are still a junior Web3 developer, but you target jobs that have a very high pay. Like sometimes we hear some crazy salary of 200K, 300K, etc. But if all you've done is just follow a few tutorials here and there, you don't qualify for this job. So just be less demanding. And also one other thing you can do is instead of trying to get a full-time job, you can try to get some freelance gig. First, freelance gigs are much easier to get, especially as a junior. And that's really a great way to get your foot in the door. So first you get a small freelance gig that doesn't necessarily pay very well, but then you have something to put on your CV. Then you leverage this to have a slightly better freelance gig, etc., up to the point when you get your first full-time job. And then finally, you're part of the club. Another reason why you're not getting a job in Web3 is because you are too junior. So maybe that you've just watched tutorial here and there, but you are still very junior. And a big mistake that many juniors do is that they try to level up in too many different areas. So we know Web3 is very big. There's the smart contract part, there's the front end, there's the wallet, there is the security aspect. So once you have a basic understanding of all these things, you need to focus on just one area and become an expert in this. Otherwise, you are too scattered and you will stay junior forever. Another reason why you're not getting a job in Web3 is because you don't have a good portfolio of projects. When you search for a job in Web3, it's very important that you are able to prove your expertise. And as a developer, one of the best ways to prove your technical expertise is to have a good portfolio of projects. So how is your GitHub? Do you have any interesting Web3 project? And if you just follow some YouTube videos, most likely that's not the case. You also need to build your own project and make them really polished and deploy them, give them a real URL, test them, do a nice readme, basically do everything you can to show that you treat this project very seriously. Another reason why you're not getting a job in Web3 is because you don't have any online presence. And that is especially true if you are a junior, because in that case, employers want to make sure that you are very passionate about Web3. And this is not just something that you do just to make some money, but you don't really care about it. And one of the best way to demonstrate this is through social media. So do you have uh, any Twitter or are you active on any other social media? Do you have a blog where you write articles about Web3? This kind of thing can be very important. Another reason why you're not getting a job in Web3 is because you don't know how to sell yourself. And one of the biggest issue I see over and over is people who don't know how to position themselves well. For example, if you just say that you are a Web3 developer, this is very vague. It can mean very different things. So it's way better to position yourself much more specifically. You can say, oh, I'm an expert in DeFi, an expert in NFT, expert in security. I'm a front-end guy. I'm a 3D guy. Be very specific in the way that you present yourself to companies and you will see that they will respond way better. Don't be a jack of all trades. Another reason why you're not getting a job in Web3 is because you're not looking at the right places. So maybe that you're just looking at some very big job boards. 
like on LinkedIn or Indeed, but there are some more specialized job boards just for crypto, such as Crypto Job List, and they tend to have much more jobs that are relevant for Web3. Another reason why you're not getting a job in Web3 is because you don't do any networking. You need to know people, and once you know people, they can introduce you to some jobs that are not even on the market. So one way to build your network is to participate into some projects. So try to contribute to some Web3 project either through GitHub or by joining some Discord community or by joining some DAOs. And something even better in my opinion is to attend some real life events because when you speak to people in real life, in general, you create some more meaningful connections. So try to go to some crypto conferences, especially the ones that are for software dev. Try to go to some Web3 meetup or even better, be the organizer of meetups. If you do this, you're gonna build your network really fast. And another reason why you're not getting a Web3 job is because you're not well prepared for Web3 interviews. I see many job applicants in the space who are not knowledgeable enough in stability and in a job interview, it's just so easy to ask you a few questions and to know right away that you just follow some to-do list tutorial on YouTube, but you don't know much about solidity. So you have to anticipate this harder question that you will have in job interviews. But before you even start to apply to jobs, you need to make sure that you already have all the skills required. And so for that, I've created a full roadmap that explains you all the skills that you need to have as a Web3 developer. And to see this roadmap, go watch my free masterclass. The link is in the description. That's it for this video. Bye.